everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am here with a flip of my B6 Aura Estelle Cloud. Um, I used to have personal wide inserts in it, but I've set this one up. This is the Snow um, B6. I've set this one up with B6 inserts and I'm really enjoying them. Um, so this doesn't actually leave my house, it's been sat on my desk and it's holding up pretty well. There is a dirty mark, which I believe is chocolate. I want to say it's from Posey, but it's probably me. But it just rubs off. Um, there's a tiny little pen mark there, but again, that will probably just rub off. You can't even see it on camera, I don't think. And it's holding up pretty well, I have to say. It's not as dirty as I expected it to be, given how white it is. So, I thought I would do a flip. Um, I'm going to say, I, I never think my planners are set up, fully set up. Um... I haven't done like a big setup. What I'll do is I'll leave a link up here to the last planner setup that I really loved, that I purposely did everything coordinating. It was in my personal wide rings in my Himalayan salt, I think. Yeah, but this I, I've sort of coordinated, but let's just go, because otherwise we'll be here all day. So, it opens out beautifully. Now this, the flap does flap that's what it is but mine is sat most of the time like this open on my desk so in my front pockets I have a Fox and Pip five year anniversary sticker sheet I have a washi card from Stationery Wonderland which I love this and I love that it looks like Foxy's just peeking out my pocket uh, this washi card is from the honeybee shop because bats and I've got this black and white rainbow Maybe the honeybee shop, I'm not sure. And this die cut that says, hello, my name is Caroline. Again, I'm not sure where that's from. So what I've done in this planner is pretty much black and white. That was my plan to do all my dividers black because I bought these B6 dividers when I was way back when in 2020, the beginning of 2020, when I was thinking about going into B6 rings and then decided I didn't like it. And now I do like it, so I'm glad I have the dividers. In so. here, I have a b Christmas card. I have a gift voucher here. And I have a Christmas card which came out of the Bethany Rose advent because it has a voucher, a coupon that I haven't used. Um, so the, all the dividers and this little pocket here were part of a set from Planning in the Clouds. I'm sure it's called Planning in the Clouds. I will leave links down below. So this in here, which says spells, love notes, and hexes, I have these stickers which were made for me by Karen at Happily Planning with Karen. She doesn't have a sticker shop, she just made me enabler stickers and Stango shopping stickers. Um, yeah, and I keep them in there because I like to mark down when she has enabled me to spend stuff, which is a lot. Um, so this is... Aura Estelle, this is the B6 divider. I love these dividers. I have an A5 wide one in my budget binder. I really like these. So in here I have these foiled stickers from Coffee Monster Co, which I bought in a D-stash. These stickers from Pigeon Paper Co, also bought in a D-stash. And this, Once More With Love, this is from. And these are Villa Beautiful, and it's the categories the rooms in our house for the tom cleaning method um i might use them this way i'm not doing it yet because i'm still doing a combination of cleaning and boot camp which is like deep cleaning so i haven't started using them yet but i've got them all set up in there so that's my first divider and then you open up and i've got this which is the Lux top pocket divider from Rose Coloured Days and the Foiled Calendar is also Rose Coloured Days. This is from, oh, I want to say Wendy, Wendy, oh, what is it, Wendy something. I'll leave a link down below but it's a, an artist on Etsy. I'm sorry, my brain is just blanking on names at the moment. But I love this, I love this print. The bat and the hair, it's great. So my first divider which has the little bat. Um, these aren't pocket dividers, they're just vinyl and laminate. And then this is Lauren Phelps Designs. 
These are Annie Plans printables, which I haven't started using them that yet. I just got them. Um, this fits a sticky note, so my plan is to put a sticky note on here for months coming to write any notes down uh, and notes in here, and then I can take the sticky note off and put it into the month like when I'm actually using it. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this divider is also planning in the clouds, it was part of the bundle. There was a couple of them, there was this one, I think I've used another one later on, and there was a third one that I haven't used, there might even have been four, I'm not sure. I can't remember where that clip's from. <laughs> and these are my monthlies, which were a free printable from Printable Kate. Yes, Printable Kate. I haven't filled these in. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to. I don't seem to be gravitating towards a monthly. I like a forward plan. And normally I have a forward plan as a monthly and I would go in and decorate it and everything. Um, but I haven't been using it because, I will show you, behind my next tab I have these which are a week on two, two weeks to a page from Jacenia Plans printables. And I really like these. I like it being a week. I like being able to see what's going on. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bother filling out my monthlies or not. I haven't decided. That's why they're just in there but undecided. So the next tab which says spells, you could have these customised with different words but I didn't know what I wanted so I just got the bat spells and hexes. This was supposed to be a bat as well but it's the lips which is fine. Um, but yeah, the spells one. This is a bag from Rose Coloured Days that I laminated and sliced the top off and this is a little post-it note that Posy drew on for me a long time ago. Uh, these are personal wide. So these are my two weeks to a page and they're in a personal wide size. That's what I'd already printed out. Um, so I've just kept them like that. This is super thick acetate. I'll leave that linked. It's in my Amazon storefront. This sticker is Lauren Phelps Designs and this is Fox and Pip. The paper clip I'm thinking about bringing to my Etsy store. So yeah, I like that paper clip. And then after that, I'm trying to cover this page, we have this, which is Josephine Bow Designs, which is white stars. Then I have, I'm going to cover that one. Here we go. I have these, which are from Franken Goop, and it's dreams and goals. And I've written some random dreams and goals on this one, um, mainly business related. But yeah, I've just written them down as a sort of, when I flick through and I see them, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> you know? So I've got a few of those printed and, well, it was a notepad from Frank and Goop and I just punched them and slipped the punches. My next divider, which is the third section, these again, this is personal wide, I'd already cut it. Um, the Acetate's Honey Bee Shop and the Ampersand card is from Peach Palm and I'd already cut it to size so I've just left it. Uh, this is from Fox and Pip, I'm not for everyone. I uh, got it in a D-stash. Uh, the Grateful is from Peach Palm. This is another bit of that Acetate and then I've taken four business card pockets. I've slit the end off to make it possible to fit these in. And the month, week and today are from honeybee shop and these are like task cards so I've got page flags with different jobs on them most of them are cleaning related because that's what I was doing before I started doing the Tom method so I might have to change those but there's other ones like filing which wouldn't have a section on Tom um, and I'll, I'll just pick a day to put it on and then these ones are the animals to clean out so but yeah I keep those in there I've got this one which is three from the honeybee shop and the top one is the animals to clean out and I haven't decided how I'm going to use the other two but they're just tucked in there then I have this little pocket made out of another plastic bag with my Grogu Christmas sticker because it's adorable and I think Grogu should be in my planner all the time He's also on my planner as a charm. But yeah, I just want it in there all the time. So it stays in there. Uh, then I have these, which are all pieces of paper 
which are this is Foxy Fix, and they're all punched and slit, so I can take one out to write notes on and put it where I need it. Lauren Phelps. This is Sugar and Sloth. I've got a few of them. Um, Sweet Kawaii Designs. Fox and Cactus. Fox and Cactus. Some Little Things. Simply Owner oh Villa Beautiful. Foxy Fix. Fox and Cactus. And the Coffee Monster Co. These ones I do. Sometimes I know I'm not going to get to planning straight away and it's like I can scribble down if there's something I need to do like to put on my to-do list for Monday I can scribble it on here and put that in next week's section so then we have top tabs that say but first blood <laughs> which I think is brilliant uh and these are like so I would say like it's my monthly section my weekly section and then this is like my daily this is like my main body of my planner section behind tab number three which is why it has the top tabs to divide it so behind tab number one I have a piece of note paper which is my to-do list for March I'm just covering up some information there um but yeah that's my to-do list for March so I add to that before March and during the month then this is a piece of that acetate and it says don't be a lady be a legend that's a sticker from honeybee shop and then i have my march inserts my photo a day which i have not stuck to again one day i will maybe never but yeah i have that stuck there and then this paper clip takes me to the start of the week I'll just show you the whole month actually. Let's just take the paper clip off. So, week one, which was my honeybee shop kit, which I really don't think turned out really nice. It was a bit boring, and you can see I didn't really write a lot down. Then we went for the full on stickers, which, not gonna lie, fucking loved it. It looked beautiful. Oh, there's one of my Stango shopping stickers. Looks beautiful, love this. Then we have my cleaning sheet. I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> and this was last week. This is my Disney spread, which I really liked. And I used my dot pens to make Mickey Mouse heads for my to-do lists. Oh yeah. I'm that nerdy, that nerdy. So yeah, that's last week. So this paper clip, just about managed to hold it so yeah this takes us to the current week which I haven't finished filling out my menu plan because we threw it away and I've forgotten what it is but it's written on the fridge I just haven't transferred it to here yet so we'll get around to that eventually um so I have the week and then I have this which again is from Frank and Goop it's a notepad that I ripped the pages off and punched it and it says ugh cleaning and I'm using this for my cleaning for this week so on a Sunday I sit down and I work out what I would like to do for the week you can see I don't do it so Monday I did do what I'd written down noisy ninja mouse I did do what I'd written down on Monday Tuesday I haven't I haven't done it so I've just put a cross it's not a problem I just haven't done it it's fine and that is at the front. So then we have Monday. And then we have today, which I've done loads off my to-do list for today. And yes, our tumble dryer broke. Great. Um, so you can see I've got some of these page flags. These are two things that I really want to get done this week. They've been on my today marker for about three weeks now, but I will do them eventually. The today markers from Aura Estelle. I keep going, like putting them and then having to take them off again, so. We'll get there eventually. So that is this week. Then, oh, no, oh, I missed two pages. Then next week is still blank. Haven't planned that yet. I've put down one of my page flags because I know I need to do that on that day. I need to do it on that day. So I've put it down. So then that's the end of the month. So at the end, I have another to-do list, which is April's to-do list just covering up some private stuff um and I just write on here things I'd like to get done in April and then this comes out and I can put it in at the beginning of April when I do those inserts do you see do you see what I'm doing with that 
Then the next tab, which is first, I have this postcard, which is the quote from Amanda Gorman, and the postcard is from Lights Planner Action. So then this is my cleaning section. So this is my daily pages, this is my cleaning. So this is another one of those Frank and Goop ones. So this is my Tom Method boot camp rooms and the days they go on. You're supposed to do your boot camp. Oh, there's a moth. Okay. You're supposed to boot camp your whole house in one week. I cannot do that. I physically can't do it. It just won't work. So I've written it out as if I was going to do it in a week. And then when I'm planning my weekly tidying, I look at it and I go, okay, Monday, Monday's living room, dining room. I've already boot camped them. In fact, let's just living room and dining room and master and hall. Hello, little moth are all done. I've also done the ensuite but I haven't done the main. So, I can look at this and go, okay, Monday's living room, dining room, but I've already boot camped them. So it's just gonna be a mini clean, that's fine. Tuesday, I haven't boot camped these three rooms, so I will tidy the master, a little tidy, like I would expect to do, but then I'll pick one of the other rooms to do a boot camp in. It was gonna be Isaac's, but I didn't do it today. Um, so tomorrow, I know that I've already boot camped the hall, so it will just need its little tidy. The utility in the car still need doing, so tomorrow I plan on doing hall mini utility boot camp. Does that make sense? Am I making sense with this? It works in my head. If you want me to sit down and try and explain the Tom method again, I will, but you'd be better off reading the book or the blog or going on the Facebook group. It makes much more sense than I can explain it. And this is just the weird roundabout way that I'm doing it. <laughs> so what I've got, this is my boot camp list. And behind that, I have got a sheet of sugar and sloth paper for every single room in the boot camp. There is a moth trying to live in this room now. Um, so living room and dining room, you can see I've ticked them all off. The boot camp is done for that one. Bedrooms, the master one is done, but these three aren't. Hallway. Done. Utility, no. Car, meh, no. So then what would be Thursday is the kitchen, and I've done most of it. But there are three things, four things on this list that I didn't do when I boot camped my kitchen, which took me two days, by the way. I didn't make labels for my baking cupboard. I didn't clean the oven or the freezer, and I didn't make a cover for the snack cupboard. So I've left them on there. So when I do this, I can go, well, kitchen, I'll do the regular mini clean, but then I'll pick one of the things from the boot camp that I hadn't finished. So last week I cleaned the bottom oven, still need to do the top oven. I might make labels this week. I haven't written that. I've actually done top oven because that's the plan. But I can pick one thing off here and add that in. So I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to like add the boot camp into the regular daily clean. Uh, bathrooms, I've done all of the master. It's just the main bathroom needs to be boot camped. And then playroom, office and conservatory. I haven't done anything. And then I've got the next one for next week. So the blank one for next week. So these are the blog printables, the free printables from Tom. So these are the level one jobs. This happens every day. This is what you do every day. Monday to Thursday. So this is what would happen if you'd already boot camped your house. It was already in good condition. You do these tasks. Now, what I'm doing is these tasks on Monday to Thursday, but I'm also adding in the boot camp, which according to her method, you should do this first and it should be the whole week, one week which as I said, I can't do. So like I'm doing the boot camp and the clean at the same time, essentially trying to get myself into this habit while adding this in. Does that make sense? But anyway, I have them all printed out, ready to go. And I also have the clutter buster, which I, I don't really do this. I do this at the same time as the boot camp. So like I'm doing like a boot camp and clutter buster all at the same time. Um, 
yeah so but I printed it out to get an idea of it okay there's a lot about cleaning isn't there okay next page <laughs> is this is um a pencil board from Lauren Phelps Designs, which is in collab with C. Amy Draw. I'll leave a card up here to yesterday's, no, Tuesday's haul. This was in it. It's personal wide size. Kind of wish it got B6, but don't really mind. I also kind of wish that it was slit here, which it's not. So you have to open the rings to get it out. I might slit it. I'll see. Um, behind that, these are personal wide. I do not want to go in and retype and reprint these. This is a printable from Annie Plans that I went in and added. All of our usual groceries. So when I do my meal plan on a Saturday normally, I sit down, I plan our meals on, um, oh, I don't have any of them, hold on. I need to punch some more. I might need to buy some more as well. Um, I used these from Sugar and Sloth. They came in a Sugar and Sloth box. I'm going to see if you can buy them though and I might stock up. So I meal plan for the week. Then I take that meal plan and my grocery, my master grocery list. And I go through it and I make a grocery list based on what we're having for meals and what we would normally buy. So like, so then like, I know that we need smoothies. We always need smoothies. So I'll write down based from here on a shopping list, what we need and what I think we might need. And then I'll go and check it against, or Greg checks it against what's in the cupboards and he'll cross off anything we don't need to get because we've already got it. And he'll add on anything that we do need to get. Sounds long and complicated, but it does work for us. This has worked better than just making a list. I always forget stuff. Then the third tab, I have this little note paper that just says, fuck it, make a beautiful mess. Um, I said that in one of my videos and somebody commented that they liked that. It made, like, it helped. And I love it too. Like, it makes me feel good to think, fuck it, just make a beautiful mess. Because that's what my planner feels like to me. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not, everything doesn't match. Like, but it's a beautiful mess and I love it. These are also a notepad from Frank and Goop and it's your worry dump. I'm not going to show you the ones I've already written on, but I've got one, two, three behind here that I've already written on. I just write on here. If I'm having a moment, I just write it down, write it down on here. Um, it's messy, it's uh, scrappy, and it doesn't necessarily help, but it does sometimes, and it's like I can just bleh, and it's done. And I do keep them. And I don't really look back on them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But I still keep them in here because there's room for them. So while there's room, they're just staying. Then we have another piece of the acetate with a pocket on. The pocket is the other side, actually. It says Queen and it is from Simply Gilded. And then this card, which I tucked in the back, is a clear journaling card, which Sandra from Stationery Wonderland sent me. And it's my favourite. I love, like, the Halloween, the October mystery kit is my favourite by a long shot. So this is in my planner. Every planner, always. That's never going anywhere. And also in that pocket, I have these mask stickers from Bare Necessities because I put them down when I need to wash our masks. such a weird life we live now um then I have these which are all rose colored days oh, I've just realized those are the same um life is tough but so are you and positive vibes and then whoa I'm just making a mess these are all rose colored days freebies which are gorgeous clear foil headers so I have rainbow blue pink and two red ones I just love them. I don't know. I'm never going to use them. Just tuck them in. Then I have another leather divider from Aura Stell. Well, it's not leather, is it? It's plastic. It's vegan leather. Um, but it's one of those. Um, and inside is this journaling card from Rose Coloured Days as well. It is March. I mean, good on me. Normally it would be the wrong month, but it's March. And this tab... I like this one, I don't know why. But this takes me to my brain dump, which is literally what it says. 
it's a brain dump. I just write down anything in here that I need to remember. Like, I needed to check my MOT date. But I didn't have a set day that I needed to do that. And I didn't want to put it down on a to-do list and not do it. So I shoved it into here in my brain dump. So every so often I'll just flick to here and write stuff down. So I've got my brain dump starts here. Then I was writing out planner routines. I asked about planner routines before and got some helpful comments. But I wanted to clarify what I meant was what I'm doing in my planner. So like daily planner routine in the morning, check my day and my to-do list. And that's the only real thing. In the evening, migrate any undones, check the next day, check my to-do list, check what the meal plan is in case I need to take something out of the freezer, check my weekly page to make sure I haven't forgotten anything, daily journal, write down my spending and do my pages in my weeks, which is this one. Um, and then any weekly and monthly. So that's what I would, if anybody has anything else, they would definitely do weekly, monthly or daily. Let me know, pause the video. Look at this and let me know. Um, then I have actual like personal routines, which um, my neurodivergent ass, which I've said before, uh, my executive function is not great and I forget what I need to do. Like genuinely, unless I have it written down, I won't brush my teeth. I, I will forget. And it'll be four o'clock in the afternoon and I'll be like, oh yeah. I was gonna do that, but I got sidetracked by something else. So, yeah, this is it. <laughs> then I have a little list since I've started doing the boot camp of things that I want to get for the house that are small-ish and big wants. So like small wants, I wanted new dryer filter and oven hood filters, I bought them, I've done that. Pet food bins, I've ordered one. Big wants is a new front door, decorate the dining room and the kitchen, a new dining table, and replace the sofa, and a new bed. <laughs> that sounds really like we want loads of new things, but my front door is the same one that's been in this house since it was built, which is 26, 27 years ago, and it's starting to feel a little bit worn, um, shall we say. The dining room and kitchen, we knocked through a wall between those, so like it's messy. It's weird, there's big patchy bits and it needs to be decorated together so that it can be cohesive. The dining table is a piece of crap that's gonna just collapse on us one day. Yeah, so unless it collapses on us, I can't buy one right away because they're expensive, but I'm saving up. I replaced the sofa because again, our sofa's massive and I love it, but it's heavy as fuck and it's really hard to clean under. So that might happen sooner rather than later as well because it smells bad in certain spots. I discussed this before when I clean when we cleaned and discovered the cat had been peeing underneath it. It's really hard to get under the sofa as it is and it's too heavy for me to move myself. Um, so what we really like is sofas that have like space underneath. So I don't have to move them necessarily to clean underneath. Um, a new bed. <laughs> I love our bed. We've had our bed for six years, which isn't that long, but I also gave birth in that bed. <laughs> so, you know, could probably do with a new mattress sometime soon. <laughs> the next few pages, I'm not gonna show you. They were some personal notes I was making about an upcoming appointment, hopefully a form I had to fill out. And then I have some blank pages, not many actually. This, um, the pages are actually from Astology that I cut up. Um, because I like the paper. So I'm probably going to have to cut up another one because I'm running out of pages. Because um, yeah, I missed the paper in my salogy for random notes. Oh, a note from Stephanie. Um, I missed the paper, so I just cut one up. Oh yeah. Um, this little card, I don't know where that's from. It's from an old planner setup, but I just liked it. Then we have my hexes page, and I know that this has personal information on it here, so I'm just gonna turn that over, a phone number. Uh, this is acetate from Josephine Bow, and this is from Peach Palm. I love this, press for planner piece. Planner piece is a myth. Unless planner piece is doing whatever the hell you want in your planner. And then it's not. <laughs> 
So then we have some more Annie Plans printables. These are relatively old, but these are my YouTube notes. And it's literally, when I'm editing a video, I'll have my planner next to me. And if I, anything I use or mention, I'll write it down. So like in a haul, it's all the things I hauled. But I'll also, if I mention a person's channel or I say I'm gonna leave a card up here, um, I write it down here with the timestamp on the video so that then I can, this is my description essentially. This is where I build my description from. Makes it much easier to write the description. Then I have this divider, the last one, and it has this acrylic clip thing, which is from Fox and Pip, has a little star. Um, you can put them up the top as well, but I put this one down here and I hooked my Baby Yoda onto it so that it dangles without having to hook it onto here. I think it's really cute. And this is a random notes section as well, which you can see posies drawn in. This is actually the section I purposely put in my planner and told her if she needs to write in my planner, this is the pages she should write on. So you can see she's only written there and there, but she hasn't written anywhere else in my planner because that's posy section. It worked. So you can see that it doesn't really close down very well either there. So in here I have a notebook which is from Simply Gilded and I just like the colors. It's a B6 dot grid. Again, it's just for notes. I might use it for something more like actually notes that I wanna keep because I like the book, which is why I haven't written in it yet, but I put it in because I wanted to have it in the back, so. Um, I don't keep anything in this pocket and in here I just have a, an a, no, a B6 size pencil board from Lauren Phelps Designs. I guess I don't need this quite so much now that I have the punched one. Um, but I just keep that tucked in the back. And then in the pen loop, we have got my um, Energel Klena in the 0.4, I think, yeah. Yeah, in the 04, uh, the pink one. And I don't actually push, it does go in the pen loop but it's quite tight and I don't want to ruin this elastic on these, so I just clip the pen loop in. Plus, um, this stays open on my desk, so pretty much all day it will stay open like this at the correct day um, over on my desk. So I don't really need the pen to be in properly. I like to be able to just take it out, cross something off. Like right now I can cross off film flip because that's what I'm doing. And I just filmed my Financial Friday, so I can take that off as well. And then I just shove it back in and that moth has come back again. Go away, not on my face. Um, Yeah, so that's it. So I will leave as many links as I can down below. Yeah, like I say, when I edit, I will write in here what links I need to put, but sometimes there's a lot and this is gonna be a link heavy one. So I'll try to remember all the links. Um, but if there are any that I've forgotten, just ask. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, please ask them down below. I'm not great at replying to comments, I'm gonna be honest, but you know, I'll try my hardest. And sometimes other people will reply with the answer, which is very nice, thank you. Um, but yeah, I will get there eventually. Um, or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. You can also find me on my Facebook group, which the link for that will be down below. You're probably better off joining the Facebook group, to be honest, to get answers, and I'm more likely to see them. If you request to join, please answer all three joining questions. It's a way of weeding out bots. If you don't answer the questions, I'm not gonna approve the request, so please answer the questions. And on that note, the very long flip is done. And um, yeah, I really like this planner. I like the dividers. It just fe it feels very me with the like bats and, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. <laughs>